What's up everybody, I'm Ryan and I'm lazy and stupid, but so are you and that's okay because as always my plan is to make you less lazy and stupid with each passing day by teaching you how to make the internet work for you. Today we are going to talk about sharing photos from Instagram to Twitter. You know how when you share a photo from Instagram to Twitter and it just shows up on Twitter as the caption of your photo and just the link? Well I'm going to show you an interesting way to make it so that when you share your photos from Instagram to Twitter, it'll actually show a preview of the image that you're sharing just as if you were sharing it directly to Twitter. And we'll get to that in just a second. Alright, before we get into it though, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this hat and if it has anything to do with the episode. The answer to that is no. It's just a funny hat that I found while I was looking through my closet a little bit ago and it makes noise. Where's the button? Yeah. So anyway, getting right into things that... <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, if you're a longtime Twitter and Instagram user, you may actually remember a time when you used to be able to share photos from Instagram to Twitter, and when you did so, the preview of the image would actually show up in your tweet on Twitter, kind of like this here. It would have the tweet, it would have the link image, and then it would have the preview of the image directly below that. Then sometime around spring of 2012, Facebook came along and decided to buy Instagram for like a billion dollars. And shortly thereafter, Instagram mysteriously decided to get rid of Twitter cards. What are Twitter cards? Twitter cards basically make it possible to display previews of media and content along with your tweets. So when Instagram takes away these Twitter cards, that means that the image preview goes away. No Twitter cards, no image previews, which means that the way it currently looks when you share a photo from Instagram to Twitter is like this. Nice and boring. All you get is the caption that you left on, on Instagram and the link. And in order to see the photo, you have to click the link. And that takes you over to Instagram, away from Twitter. I guess if you're Instagram, that can potentially be a good thing. If you prefer Twitter, and that's really annoying. Luckily, there is a workaround for this, and I originally learned about this in a uh, Life Hacker uh, article that I read online. I'll leave a link to that uh, in the description box below. Um, basically, it utilizes a, uh, a website called IFT, I-F-T-T-T, -T -T, and that stands for If This, Then That. If is basically, um, it, it allows you to create if-then relationships between different platforms online. So, for example, um, it gives you the, I just burped. For example, let's say you just posted a new blog post on your WordPress blog. You can actually use if to, let's say, uh, post a link to the new blog post on your Facebook page or your, uh, your fan page or on your own Facebook page or maybe you're on your Twitter account. Uh, and that's just scratching the surface of all the uh, different functionality that if can gives you, can gives you, you know what I'm saying. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and log into Ift, and I'll show you how to put this Ift recipe, as they call it together, so you can start sharing your photos from Instagram to Twitter uh, so that they appear with a preview. Let's go. All right, so here we are on the back end of Ift.com. Again, that's I-F-T-T-T.com. If you have an account, go ahead and sign in. If you don't, just sign up for one. It only takes a few seconds and it's free. Um, and once you're all signed in, up at the top here, you're gonna click on channels. And this is gonna bring up this screen here. And what we need to do is we need to activate um, the Instagram channels and the Twitter channel. And this will just basically allow for if to kind of go in and create this recipe or this connection between Instagram and Twitter. So, and all, all you have to do is click on it. It'll bring up a login screen where you'll type in your login credentials for both Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and you just have to give IFT permission to access those different, your accounts on Instagram and Twitter. After you've activated your accounts, go back up to the top here and click on create. And now we're gonna actually create the recipe um, that's gonna make this whole, whole, whole uh, workaround happen. So once you click create, you're brought here. I'm gonna click on the word this. And we're gonna start the recipe by clicking on, where'd it go? By clicking on Instagram. So click there, and it's gonna ask you to choose a trigger. In this case, we're gonna scroll down just a little bit, and we're going to uh, click on, uh, where'd it go? New photo by you tagged, and that's up at the top. It says this trigger fires every time you share a photo on Instagram with a tag you specify. Click there. 
it's going to bring you down so that you can specify the tag. And we'll explain how this works in a little bit, but um, make your tag nice and short and sweet. It can be something like hashtag photo, hashtag Instagram, hashtag whatever. In my case, uh, and you don't have to include the actual pound sign, um, I'm just going to put IG, something short and sweet. Um, most people recognize IG as Instagram, so that's what I'm using. After you've typed in your tag, go ahead and create, uh, click Create Trigger. Next, you're going to click on the word that. And it's going to bring you down here. And this time we are going to select Twitter. And the option that you want to select here is post a tweet with image. And it says this action will post a new tweet to your Twitter account with a linked pic.twitter.com image. Okay. So we're going to select that there. And usually uh, this will have what you need right here. Um, I'm guessing that when you share your photo from Instagram to Twitter, you'll probably want to have the, uh, the accompanying caption that you put uh, in with, uh, on Instagram. And you want to have source URL down here at the bottom. Make sure those are in place and then go ahead and create or click create action. And you can give your recipe a description if you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Click create recipe. And there you have it. Your recipe is created. All right, and now to show you how it works. First, what you're going to do is open up Instagram on your phone or wherever you have it. And we're going to do a new picture here. I'm just going to go ahead and take a stupid, silly picture of myself. No, nah, I don't like that one. Find the picture you like. Click next. And I'm going to type the caption, goofing around on set. All right, so I've got my caption, and I included that tag that we put earlier. You have to put the tag, otherwise it's not going to work. So, uh, so this is what the screen looks like just before you post a picture. Now notice that the Twitter sharing option is not selected. Once you have this recipe set up, you don't have to uh, also click the Twitter sharing button to make sure that the photo goes over there. In fact, if you click the sh uh, Twitter sharing button, it's going to display twice in your Twitter feed. Once as if it came directly from Instagram, once as if you posted the tweet directly to Twitter. So leave the Twitter selection uh, um, unselected and uh, make sure that you include the, uh, the hashtag that you specified in your recipe. And after that, all you have to do is click the check mark and off it goes. And as you can see, this is what it finally looks like once it's all said and done. That's exactly how it works. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now your photo that you shared on Instagram is in your Twitter feed with a preview and you don't have to take the extra steps to post it to Instagram, then go over to Twitter and share it again on Twitter. Now, something to keep in mind, there are a couple pros and cons to this method of sharing photos from Instagram to Twitter. The main pro is being, is as I've been saying all along, you get that image preview. Um, so if that's all you're concerned about is making sure that that image preview shows up on Twitter, this is a golden uh, solution for you. All right, some of the cons though, um, number one, the hashtag can take up some space. If you're someone who typically tweets long tweets or puts long captions in Instagram, that hashtag is going to take up a little bit of space and not give you quite as much room um, to type in your captions, which is why I use the short caption that I do, the hashtag IG. Um, so you might want to consider making your tag, whatever it is, a lot smaller, a lot shorter. Another con to this method is that when your photo posts to Twitter, it gets rid of that Instagram link altogether and replaces it, as I mentioned earlier, with that pic.twitter.com link. So it doesn't look as if it came from Instagram at all. So unless uh, you are maybe kind of uh, hinting that it came from Instagram and the hashtag that you use, you know, you're not going to be directing people to Instagram. So if your goal is to try to get more Instagram followers by sharing your photos from Instagram to Twitter, um, you're going to have to try to be creative with that hashtag, uh, maybe hashtag Instagram or hashtag taken on Instagram or something along those lines so people know that that photo actually did come from Instagram and then will possibly go to try and find you over there. The last con is that there can be a little bit of lag between when you publish the photo on Instagram and when it actually shows up in your Twitter feed. That's just because Ift uh, refreshes on, on a certain interval. Um, if it's taking a little bit longer than usual, and usually it's no longer than 15 minutes, sometimes it'll happen right away, sometimes it'll take a few minutes, but if it's taking a little bit longer than you'd like, what you can do is log in, uh, click on my recipes up at the top, and then just scroll down, find the recipe, 
and then quick, uh, click on this circle with an arrow button that says check recipe now. Typically, uh, once you click that, it'll kind of refresh your feed manually and you'll see the tweet pop up within your Twitter feed uh, pretty much instantly. All right, well, that's it. That's uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you for today. I hope this was helpful for you. Do me a favor. If uh, you tried this recipe out and it works for you and you enjoy it, why don't you post a photo to Instagram and tag me. I'm at Ryan Hafey on Instagram and Twitter. And let me know uh, what you thought and let me know that uh, you appreciate this tutorial. All right, but now it's time for you to get off your lazy ass and go do something awesome. We will see you next time. Until then, peace out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go, I forgot to mention one thing in the video, and that is that the IFT formula to share photos to Twitter only works for photos. It does not work for video, so do not try to use it for video. At least last I checked, it didn't work for video. But don't try it, or you could, but it probably won't work. So just, just don't try it. All right. Okay, now you can go.